All right, another example of simplifying radical expression. In this case, we have the outside exponent of 1 over 4, and the inside is just the quotient of the product of w to the 4, c to the negative 3, gamma to the negative 8, and w to the 7, and c to the 5th. Now, every single time when you have a complicated expression like this, what I would recommend is try to simplify the inside of the parentheses as much as you can, okay? In this case, that's what I'm going to do because it makes it easier for me to do. However, if you would like to go ahead and recognize that you are able to distribute the outside exponent to each of the one on the inside because you only have multiplication and division, no addition, no subtraction, then go ahead and do it, okay? But I like to simplify the inside of the parentheses before I quote unquote distribute the outside exponent to the inside ones. So this one can be rewritten as, let's say, w to the 4 over w to the 7 multiply c to the negative 3 over c to the 5th and multiply gamma of negative 8. And all of this is raised to the positive 1 over 4. Now take a look inside right here. Well, you have, w, you have the variable w to the fourth divided by the same variable w but raised to the uh, seven. Well, the laws of exponent allow you to well, the laws of exponent says that every single time when you have the exactly same variables and either the same or different exponents, you get to keep that variable. You take the numerator exponent, which is 4, and you subtract the denominator exponent, which is 7. So w to the 4 divided by w to the 7 turns out to be w raised to the 4 minus 7, which is w raised to the negative 3. And the same thing for c to the negative 3 and c raised to the 5th c raised to the negative 3 over c raised to the fifth is equal to c raised to the negative 3 minus 5 equal to c raised to the negative 8. Okay, so respectively replace these two with these. That means we would have w to the third multiplying c to the negative 8 multiplying gamma to the negative 8 all raised to the outside exponent of positive 1 over 4. With only multiplication inside the parentheses, again, we get to use the loss of exponent and we distribute the outside exponent to each of the one on the inside. So this is going to turn out to be w raised to the negative 3 times 1 over 4 times uh, c raised to the negative 8 times 1 over 4 times gamma raised to the negative 8 times 1 over 4. Well, integer multiply fraction is the same as integer multiply numerator and keep the denominator. So this turns out to be negative 3 times 1 over 4 times c raised to the negative 8 times 1 all over 4 times gamma raised to the negative 8 times 1 all over 4. Simplifying even further, you got w raised to the negative 3 over 4 times c raised to the negative 8 over 4 times gamma raised to the negative 8 over 4 which is equal to w times 3 raised to the negative 3 over 4 times c raised to the negative 2 times gamma raised to the negative 2 okay so maybe i can see that now we're not done at this step yet okay unless your teacher or your instructor specifically asks you to leave the exponents in negative form, we always have to convert it back to this positive version, okay? How do we do that? Well, if we, if we recognize the fact that anything by itself is the same as itself divided by the invisible positive one,
then when, whenever we have the negative exponents in the numerator, we can easily convert it to its positive version by moving the whole term that has that negative exponent to the other place, meaning to the denominator in this case, okay? So we take this, we move it down here. In the numerator, we're left with just the invisible positive one. And of course, the invisible positive one over here comes from the fact that anything by itself is the same as itself multiplying the invisible positive one, okay? So moving this whole thing down, we got positive one over positive one multiplying w, now raised to the positive three over four. Multiply, same thing right here. Take this, move it down. We got positive one over positive one times c raised to the positive two. Same thing for the gamma over here. We got positive one over positive one times gamma raised to the positive two. But hey, anything by anything multiplying positive one is just itself. So we got positive one over w raised to the three over four times positive one over c raised to the positive two times positive one over gamma raised to the positive two. And simplifying even further because we're multiplying three fractions. Multiply, multiply the numerators together, 1 times 1 times 1 is just positive 1. w to the positive 3 over 4 times c to the 2 times gamma to the 2 is w to the 4. I mean w to the 3 over 4 times c square times gamma square. But hey, guess what? c square and gamma square. c square and gamma square, they have the same exponential power too. Well, we can combine them into one common exponential power 2. So that means we can have positive 1 over w raised to the 3 over 4 times c gamma square. Okay, so from this step to this step, it's just basically going backward from what we did earlier, distributing the outside exponent to each of the one on the inside. This step with the c square and the gamma square, we kind of like quote unquote undistributed, okay? So we quote unquote undistribute the exponential power of positive 2 to this form from here to there. And of course, optional step, unless you are required by your teacher. w raised to the 3 over 4 is the same as the fourth root of w cubed. And of course, c gamma square and this is it you guys two different forms same answers same values okay thank you for watching see you guys next time quick notes i forgot to mention now earlier over here if you take a look you have the negative exponents in numerators okay what about what about in a situation where you have negative exponents in a denominator? Well, very simple. All you have to do is that you move all of the terms with the negative exponents from the denominator to the numerator. And that is how you automatically convert the negative exponents into its positive version, okay? So you get you end up with these three fractions, multiply numerators together, and you get this, okay? So just a little note I forgot to mention earlier.